What if the very thing that propels us forward in life is not a tangible thing at all, but a concept, a feeling, an idea? What if that force is hope? Delving into history, hope has been a driving force for humanity since the dawn of time. From the early hunter-gatherers who hoped for a successful hunt to feed their tribes, to modern humans who hope for a better future, hope has always been a beacon guiding us through the darkness of uncertainty. Interestingly, the concept of hope is not exclusive to humans. Studies show that animals too exhibit hopeful behavior. A bird building a nest is hoping for offspring. A cat hiding behind a bush, hoping to catch a mouse, is also exhibiting a form of hope. As we journey forward in time, the ancient Greeks gave hope a significant place in their mythology. Pandora, the first woman on Earth, was given a box and told never to open it. Yet, curiosity got the better of her and she opened the box, releasing all the evils of the world. But at the bottom of the box, there was hope. This tale symbolizes a powerful truth about hope. Even in the face of the greatest despair, hope persists. It endures, offering solace and the promise of better days. But hope isn't just a philosophical concept, it has tangible scientific implications. Psychology tells us that hope can significantly affect our mental and physical well-being. In the late 20th century, American psychologist Charles R. Snyder developed the hope theory. He proposed that hope consists of pathways and agency. Pathways are the routes we create to reach our goals, and agency is our motivation to use these routes. Essentially, hope is not just a passive wish, but an active pursuit of goals. Moreover, neuroscience has discovered that hope activates the same brain regions as goals and motivation. It stimulates the production of endorphins and encephalins, chemicals that make us feel happy and reduce pain. Medical science also recognizes the power of hope. Patients with a positive outlook, who have hope, often have better outcomes than those who don't. It's not magic, but the result of a complex interplay between our brain, body and perception of the world. In conclusion, hope is a potent force, a bridge between our present and future. It has shaped our history from ancient myths to modern science. It's not just wishful thinking, but an active, goal-oriented process. It's a survival mechanism, deeply ingrained in our biology and psychology. So the next time you find yourself hoping for something, remember, you're not just indulging in a flight of fancy. You're engaging in a process that is deeply human, scientifically valid, and has been a driving force for our species since the dawn of time. Hope, my friends, is not just a word. It is an embodiment of our human spirit.